This video is a comparison between two WordPress themes, the free podcast theme available on WordPress.org and the premium podcast plus theme both developed by ilovewp.com. I will go through some of the main differences between these two themes. In the video description you will find links to both themes and to separate videos for each theme. Podcast Plus contains many improvements and features that were suggested by the users of the free podcast theme. Please keep in mind that some parts of this video might be outdated in the future. Let's begin. The free podcast theme does not come with a sample content from the demo. Podcast Plus comes with a one-click demo import feature. In just a few steps, you can easily import any of the available theme demos. Podcast comes with seven built-in color palettes, but there are no controls to customize the appearance of any particular section of the website. Podcast Plus comes with six style templates and extensive controls for color and font customization. You can easily adapt the theme to your own liking, without editing any code. Both Podcast and Podcast Plus can display the latest episode on the homepage, but in Podcast Plus you have more control over this section. Podcast lets you display free featured pages on the homepage. This is a simple process and is handled on the customize page. Podcast Plus uses the default block editor to create a similar section. Using one of the built-in block patterns, you can easily add, edit, remove and reorder these custom sections. Thanks to this approach, you can build a more unique and complex homepage that will reflect your brand and content. Both themes can display a sidebar on the left or on the right side. In Podcast Plus, you can completely remove the sidebar and you can set different sidebar locations for different pages. In the footer, Podcast has only two columns of widgets. Podcast Plus has two footer sections and up to four widgetized areas. The first section is full width and centered. The second section can display up to three columns with widgets. Here are some more features that you will enjoy and appreciate in Podcast Plus. In the header, there is an additional full width widgetized area below the logo and the main menu. This is a good place for important announcements and for links to your podcast on other hosting platforms. In the footer, in the bottom right corner, there is an additional custom menu location. This is a good place to link to legal and disclaimer pages. On post archive pages, you can display some content in between posts. For example, some advertising, a mailing list subscription form, whatever you want. You can display your posts in a grid or in a list format. You can also display or hide post thumbnails, dates, categories and excerpts. You can do the same thing inside posts. Also inside posts, there is a post navigation section, which makes it easy for visitors to jump to other posts and podcast episodes. These are some of the main differences between Podcast and Podcast Plus. Both themes can be used to create a WordPress website for your podcast. If you are just getting started with your podcast and don't have a budget for a premium theme, then you can use the free podcast theme. It works well and will continue receiving occasional updates in the future. If you purchase Podcast Plus, then you get access to priority support and more frequent theme updates and improvements. Podcast Plus is more flexible and more customizable. 
If you're serious about your podcast website and need more control over it, then Podcast Plus might be the right theme for you. To purchase Podcast Plus, go to ilovewp.com or check out the links in the video description. If you need professional help in creating or managing your website, please get in touch. You can support my work by subscribing to my channel, liking this video and leaving a comment below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.